thank you for taking this time to love yourself, to feel the love that is all around you, that lives inside of you. Thank you for allowing this love to gift you clarity, bliss, and opportunity. Thank you for receiving this love. And if you're someone who is just learning how to receive, that is okay. This guidance can be an opportunity to assist you to open your heart so you can receive a little bit at a time. It's important to go at your own pace when receiving divine love. The love is not going anywhere. The love is here. The love is the only thing that's real. It's okay to go slow. It's okay to be gentle. It's a learning process to be vulnerable with the heart's medicine. May we let go of control or fear. May we allow the heart to be open to open and to receive love in a graceful way, a balanced pace. Thank you. May we all learn to surrender in our process of learning what love is. This can ever change, ever evolve and grow into something more beautiful every day. May we transform continuously what love means to us basis on new loving experiences mutual energy exchange and healthy boundaries love is mutual love is sharing love is equal love is easy love is fluidity love is reflected in the water Thank you to love, creator's love, for taking care of all of us. Now we ask the breath to be an assistance of receiving this love as well. We ask the breath to be a guidance in our awakening, in our opening. I breathe in love. I exhale compassion. I breathe in love. Exhale compassion. I breathe in love. I exhale compassion. I breathe in love. Exhale compassion. I breathe in love, 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 exhale. As I gain deeper awareness of my body now, I imagine a sphere of light. This ball of energy can be whatever shape, color, or shade you imagine to be. This energy can spin in circles and have movement like water or sit still and radiate its beauty, magnificence and its medicine in front of my chest. This light comes from creator, 
my ancestors and my star relatives. To this energy, I speak affirming words that come from my spirit. I am safe. I am worthy of healthy love. I am worthy to give and receive love. Thank you for all that you feel. Thank you for protecting me the way you know how. Thank you for staying strong. Thank you for being my friend. I now listen to you. I choose to follow you, my sweetheart. I apologize if I have ever hurt you. I apologize if I ever ignored your guidance. I wish to have a healthy relationship with you. To my inner child and my innocent heart, I will be here with you. I will be disciplined in building a healthy relationship. Through any healing, I will be here. I will be here with you if you are closed or open, numb or feel too much, happy or sad. My precious heart, you are precious, you are pure, you are so beautiful, you are adored. My heart, I honor and cherish you so much. Thank you for guiding my life. Thank you for assisting me with learning how to be compassionate, how to be nurturing, how to be understanding. May I love the way that I want to be loved. May I always keep love for myself. May I love myself the way I love others. I allow my heart's medicine to speak for itself in the silence. May I know the fuel of the love that lives inside of me can never be altered. This love is the love I share and create with the divine I am discerning on who I share my heart's medicine with. My love does not have to prove anything. My love is not something to be used in comparison. My love and my heart always enough. There is no competition in my heart, for there is only unity. My heart is innocent. My innocent heart is valued. There is room in my heart for innocence. It is okay 
to be innocent. I am safe to be vulnerable with myself, with my ancestors, and with my creator. I am safe to receive again. I am safe to enjoy. I am safe to receive blessings. I am safe to be happy. I am safe to be grounded. I am safe to be in the present moment. I am safe to feel my body. I am safe to love myself. I am safe to exist. I am safe to exist. I am safe in my existence. I am safe to live. I am safe to express. I am safe to be here. My existence is needed. My presence is a gift. My medicine is potent. My medicine is special. I honor my place in creation. My love sings. My heart song is heard in the silence. It is a beautiful song of remembrance. I remember pure love. I remember divine love. I remember myself. As I hold this ball of light, it receives the words that are spoken as medicine, as a code as a gift. Everything that has been spoken is transferred to the energy that I hold in front of my chest. I deserve to be happy. I deserve to be healthy. I deserve to be respected. I deserve to be valued. I deserve to be acknowledged. I deserve clear communication. I deserve to be given healthy attention. I deserve comfort, empathy, and stability. I deserve for my spirit and my heart to be seen. myself and my beautiful soul to be seen, admired, and cherished. I am love. My love
love is peaceful. My love is gentle. Now slowly, I welcome and gently receive this blessing of light, the medicine of word and affirmations. I am safe to receive. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now and forevermore. May this love fill my cup eternally. May this love sit in my heart now and walk with me through my day. Thank you for this love, for protecting me as I sleep, as I journey on this earth. Thank you to this love being my ultimate protection. Thank you to my heart and my inner child for your sacred participation in this prayer of protection today. Thank you to the love of the Most High. Thank you. Thank you to all who listened and resonated with this affirmational mantra. This particular spoken word segment hit a raw space in my own heart. This can be an assistance to anyone who was once or is suicidal or has suffered from depression and anxiety, PTSD, borderline personality disorder, bipolar disorder, etc. Anyone who has suffered trauma of physical, sexual, or emotional abuse, anyone who has been abandoned, rejected, or neglected, anyone who has been a victim of their own self-sabotage, self-injury, self-harm, anyone who has dealt with substance abuse in their household, or with themselves, um, I pray that this can touch the inner child that has experienced those things inside of you and to know and to walk with the knowing that this love that we carry is so much greater than any of the pain and trauma that we have been through and there is no need to identify with these circumstances or classify you under any mental illness per se. If it helps you to discern on what's going on with you, that is beautiful and that is okay. But it is not necessary because these labels can be used as a box to put yourself in. And the love that you carry of your spirit, of your heart, is so much bigger than that box of that limitation, of that word, of that title. Because if you suffer from these these things, then the healthcare system puts you in a cycle of, could potentially put you in a cycle of relying on chemical medication. And if that chemical medication makes you feel safe, then that's okay. But this love can also make you feel safe as well. And the solution is self-love, self-respect. And it is a learning process for the rest of our lives, right? 
especially in this society that uh, makes you question your yourself and your beauty and your your medicine so I pray that this could find you well I pray that you know that your heart song is strong and could overcome any trial or tribulation everything is meant to help you grow compassion and may any trauma to the heart be your medicine that you walk with and that you can learn how to love this part of yourself as well and love your emotional body and love your inner compass because it is telling you something and if there is fear when you walk it is a teacher so thank you to your heart for all that you've been through all that you've endured thank you for staying strong and thank you for your hope for humanity for yourself for your healing may healing come gracefully and gently and may we take our time with the process with the pace that our body wants to go at may we take our time as we learn our own strength again so thank you for listening I pray and trust that your spirit your heart your mind your body is well and is alkalizing back to health thank you Hopira Sudevai, Unamo Bhagavate Vasudevai, Unamo Bhagavate Vasudevai, Unamo Bhagavate Vasudevai.